Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Robert Collier. Let's jump into the markets and see what we have going on today. We see that stocks, both in the S&P and the NASDAQ 100, are up a little bit. Bonds swinging back just a little bit. Gold up two. Bitcoin, of course, down again. Let's first take a look at where we are on the S&P 500. A little bit of an update. Didn't change anything on our STC indicator. Still in the red. Still lots of downward pressure. We saw it happen a few days ago where things bumped up for a day and then trundled down again. Still at a negative 15 on our success multiplier formula. We can look at the two-day and see again that it is still pressing down quite strongly, reaching a lower low. We look at the weekly, same thing there. Again, not looking so good. We are below the 200 EMA on the half-day chart. So again, we just have lots of downward pressure there. What do we see on the NASDAQ 100? Again, up for the day a little bit. Less than the S&P, up 0.11% versus 0.46%. Again, still everything in the red. We look at our two-day, still reaching a lower low most recently. And, of course, we can see our STC still heading down quite strongly. And, of course, we look on the weekly chart still heading down negative 15 on the SMF. Now, let's go back to the half day and we'll go into where bonds are. We see 20-year bonds are, again, down up in the morning and pulling back some in the afternoon. Overall, 0.67%. We see the STC still spiking down. If we look at the two-day, it is heading down also. And we look at the weekly, and again, heading down, down, down. So a bit of a pullback, uh, both in stocks and bonds for the day, or I guess we could call it a pull-up but nothing spectacular happening. Still lots and lots of downward pressure. We take a look at gold, and what do we see there? Again, gold passed through the 200 EMA on the half-day chart back on the second, and then we see things again just sort of not sinking as low as they did on Monday morning, but still heading down uh, with that STC two-day Again, lots of downward pressure there. Gold is heading down toward the 200 EMA on the two-day. And, of course, on the weekly, hasn't crossed that threshold yet. Again, we can see where gold peaked not so far back, back on the 7th of March. But since then, down, up a little, and then for the last two weeks, tracking down quite strongly. So we'll keep our eye on things. I'm sure ready for gold to turn around, but... That may not be in the cards anytime soon with all the decoupling, people having to cover shorts and jumping out. Now, lastly, take a look at Bitcoin, of course, as we typically do on the VanEck ETF, that is the uh, short futures. And what do we see going on there? Well, we see things again on this half day chart continuing to move down 2.25% down for the day. STC's in the red. Same with our two-day chart heading down quite strongly. And, of course, the weekly, uh, it's been in the red for quite a while, going into the one, two, three, fourth week of, again, strong down movement. Just keeps moving down. How low will it go? We don't know. We just know we're not in it now. That is where we are, folks, on Wednesday. I am traveling tonight, heading over to the UK. I will be attempting to put out the show while I am over there doing some work, and I will keep you guys posted. So appreciate you being with us. We'll be working on getting out charting crypto tomorrow. Uh, and then, of course, on Thursday, we'll be getting the 20 weekly vertical crossovers. Thank you so much for your patience. Always great to have you with us. We will keep you posted. God bless.